Okay, first of all, let's roll for a narrator. Alright. Uh, it's Jocular Dweeb. Good luck. To Sounds good. Sounds good, Jack. Jack, you got this. So do I start? Yeah. Alright. Chapter 7. This dress call from the closet. The mood at the scene of the crime is mixed. All three of them would label the main emotion as extreme tension. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. But okay. that is a concept that means vastly different things for each of them. There's a, of... a lot of tension in your nose. Yeah. Riska <laughs> thriving on it has not felt so... Uh, wait. They got it late. Alive in a very long time. Taros has never... In his tragic experience, felt so much to, close to death, mm. which is surprising to him. Rissy's trying her best to grapple with her, any cosmic truths at the moment, since she's getting a phone call in the middle of hiding for her life. She grumbles to herself a bit before answering. Okay, so we've got um, Rissy, <coughs> Rissy and, 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 yeah, and then Briska. Okay. Um, yeah. How would uh, how would Rissy sound? Uh, however you want. However, um, Jockler is doing Brissy. Okay. <laughs> oh, doing Jockler it, is doing... <laughs> is, is this a riddle or something? It seems to be rolling the same things in a row a lot. But, um, Jockler is also doing Harry Anderson. <laughs> Jockler is <laughs> doing everything. Oh, I'm, <laughs> I'm sorry, but you're doing Briska T. I'm sorry, <laughs> just on, is, is there something I can do in the options to make it, um... More random? Uh, where are the options? Wait, anyway? Am I doing all the rolls right now? Yeah, you have every single one, yeah. Oh god! Yeah, um, right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna roll it. I'm gonna roll it again. I don't. Like... Okay, if I, I'm trying making the. Roll See if she's Tavros also. <laughs> okay, I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna roll all three of them again. I'm okay. Doing, I'm doing Rizzy this time. Okay. We've got Harry Anderson. We got Chocolate Dweeb. Damn it. With Briska. <laughs> and Briska is Jocelyn Dweeb. Yay! <laughs> so. Yeah, because it only got me, did it? Okay. Yeah, or last time it was yeah. you did every single roll. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so. My jaw hurt. It, it, you can't even know. Really, Harry Anderson? A phone call? As I was lucky, I keep my shit on silent. Hey Varys, what the fuck? Are you looking? Are you looking at Instagram because your uh, situation is all over the place? Yeah, Harry. I would say we are extremely aware of the situation as it's unfolded the fuck all around us. Can't believe you actually did that. Oh, can't you? Can you really not? Look, babe. I thought you were joking. Why would anyone believe you uh, had an actual dead religious figurehead in the back of Tavros's car? He makes us scare dirt. He just, just he makes us scrape dirt off our shoes before we get in. As much as I'm loving watching your mates Brit attempt to squirm out the responsibly re the responsibility for his dumb shit action, we should probably get the getaway part of this backwards haste. Does he have like a real plan in time, or are we just gonna try our own luck? Oh, we should roll for Tavros. And oh, it's chocolate weave again. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Should be talking to yourself. Oh no, <laughs> Percy is sometimes that. Sometimes interjecting. All right, where where even are you? This audio sucks shit. It sounds like you were. I couldn't hear you right. We're in the janitor's closet next to what you always tell me is a good water fountain. We can't stay here. And no, you heard it, Brian. That was just Riska. Oh, okay, so. That part about the other Vriska was true, too, I guess. Awesome. Yeah, cool. Normal. I'll see you again. Oh, shit. It's Vriska. We could call Rose and Kanaya, maybe. My mom's would either give us a medal or kill us himself. It's like 50 50 odds. I don't love those numbers, folks. Ugh, and they also might be, like, in the middle of important war shit. So? What we just did was some important war shit. I can't keep up with all of you assholes t talking at once. Can't we just meet back at my mom's place? She shouldn't be at home. Fine, okay. People are starting to disperse, so if you're gonna make a run for it, 
Now's your shot. Don't get caught. Wouldn't dream of it, babe. <laughs> Christ, what a shit show. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Him. They stand they stand up uh, and brush themselves off. There's no time to waste, but there's one final element they've got they have not worked out. Part of the reason Tavros thinks that he's been so game to continue on with the worst plan anyone has con concocted. And that the more bullshit they endure, the longer that they can pull off actually doing anything that matters. If he's getting sprayed with a sprinkler and getting clown feet in his face, it's a farce. It can't hurt him, but if they if they get the to the part where he's shoving uncooperative uncoop, weight of his uncle's corpse and in, in an incinerator, he'll stop floating in protective semi consciousness above his body, and we'll all be real. There is no time for an incinerator now, and somehow Tavros realizes reality reality has caught up with them as uh, all the same. Three of them are quiet. For a moment, while they look down at the body, there is a soft plink as the droplet from his bloody nose hits the tile. So, what do we do about him? I prefer to not drag him along any further, if that's possible. The cat is rather out. The cat is rather out of the um, bag at this point, is it not? Yeah, no real point in wasting time hiding him anywhere best than this, Riska. Yeah, fuck it. I'm down. I'm done dealing with him. Finally. <laughs> Bye, bitch. <laughs> Trolls are made for the moment that troll oozes pulsating uh like the sphin sphin sphincter sphin sorry through the trails of of brooding caverns across the brutal days of slog alternative uh, society all the way to their ordeals to the sucking void of space. They're, they're bred for nothing but endless war, but Commander Vantus, Commander Vantus is different. Dirt-blooded, uh, unclean, descended of a heck, of a heretic, uh, heretic, he never heretic. should have, if, heretic, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> he should have never made in the surface. You should have been you should have been euthanized by a, a well-meaning J blood, and if somehow his hideous mutation managed to squeak past his lucis, should have put him out of his misery. He was a troll, Lana Del Rey would put it, born to die. But he didn't die. He is desperate. He is, despite everything, one of the only alternative born trolls left standing for the humblest of being he has risen of the highest echelons of achievement or so all the fa the pamphlets say the actual commander vandis has blis blisters on his heel and and he has been taking pot shots at scouting drones for the last six hours he could use a bath honestly oh <laughs> me oh, talk at time uh <laughs> Uh, it, it's almost roll. It is um. It almost rolled T vendor, but it rolled you again. So like, should we just say T vendor? Um, T vendor for me now. And oh, the car cat too. He's, she's talking there. Oh god. <laughs> Good luck. Yeah, good luck. Yo, T, you there? Yep. All right. Okay. <laughs> Yo, Nubs, is that you? Pretty rank. Oh my god. I flatly refuse to believe that you can smell my natural musk over the stench of blood and burning flesh. I can't think of anything more asinine than you getting on my case about personal grooming on the battlefield. Didn't I warn you about thinking, though? God damn it, Mina. Don't meme at me. People are dying. Wow, fuck, you alright? <laughs> Let me just save my jokes for that specific time in the foreseeable future where we aren't all fighting for our lives. Wouldn't that work for you, Commander? If you and the rest of the General's Council hadn't insisted that I stay out of the worst of the fighting, we wouldn't have this problem. Yeah, because you'd be dead. <laughs> you can't lead every charge. You gotta, be the re you gotta be realistic, boss. 
I know that. They have they have had this argument more than once. In fact, both of them could play either side of it. Karakad has done his time in the field, of course, leading a small uh, uh, Gwery whatever you pronounce it uh, operations to Gorilla. I don't I gorilla. Gorilla. <laughs> I was leading a small gorilla operation. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care, okay? Gym operations. Sabotage Crocker's supply chains. That's why you want Duncan Hunt's better. But Mina and the rest of her council is right, which is why he's here. Instead of at the front lines with his rebels, where he belongs. His true value is his face, his symbology. At the end of the day, he's a fucking ad campaign. Shine. Oh, I forgot Swiper was in this. Uh, looks like it's T Vendor again. All right, it's just one line. Hey. All right, boss, check the news. Oh fuck! What? Jesus Christ! It's Gamzee. He's dead. Oh, oh uh, well, shit. I can't fucking believe this. You okay? No, I'm not okay. You wanna talk about it? I know you had a gel. You and Jelly Boils had a thing. First of all, Jelly Bulge, uh, you outlawed fish puns. I gotta make my own fun. Gross. And I guess if you call an obscenely public pale act performed in the purge of desperate panic intended to prevent him from murdering all my friends instead of just half of them a thing, then yes, I guess we had a thing. But if you're asking if I'm sad that he's dead, absolutely the fuck not. I have hated this piece of bubbling a feculent clown flesh for decades, and so everyone else who pay respects themselves. Rest in powerful gaze of my eternal loathing. That's not why I'm saying fuck a bunch of times. You need your reasons. Shut up. Look at the picture. Kind of blurry. What am I supposed to be looking at? In the distance, heavy artillery ro rolls across the heavy the heaving sky. It sounds like thunder, but by now they know. The I don't know, Mina. At the pack of kids carrying a dead clown, that's Vriska. I guess, I guess it is. Uh, I always knew that fish were gonna grow up shady. What? For, not Vriska, Mariam Lalonde. No, not Vriska, Mariam Lalonde. I mean, she's there too, but I'm talking about the other Vriska. My Vriska, from my universe. This Vriska's ancestor. She's here. She a ghost or some shit? I don't think so. I can't see her eyes in this picture, but she's covered in blood and she's carrying Gamzee, so she's corporal at least. Unless she has a fucking life ring too, how many of those things are there? Okay, but who gives a shit about how we got here, Nubs? Maybe focus on the big picture? You're right. Fuck. Cor Crocker Corp CEO Jane Crocker has condemned the assassination as an act of terror and is calling for per uh, perpetrator's arrest. Wait, ain't that the kid who's holding up the clown ass? Uh... Wow, this article is way too long. I hate war correspondence. Jesus, fuck. Okay, here. Of course. Crocker claiming her son was kidnapped and forced to participate. And they've named me as the mastermind. Well, we wouldn't have taken credit for it, so this saves us all the time. Thanks, Jane. Oh, you won. <laughs> Shit. The tide of public opinion is ind ind indefinitely turning against us. Or against Jane. That's good, though, right? That's That's what we want. Who we want is to see the conversation in our favor so more people join our cause. What we don't want is to give the president an, ex an excuse to execute martial law. Shit. Of course this would have to do, do with the fucking circuit. Months of planning, hours and hours of logistics, and all of it does, it goes up in smoke because of one spidery asshole. She yes. would find some way to wreck my shit from beyond the grave. Yeah, it, it sucks. Uh, so what, what, is, what are your orders, boss? Boss, that title used to grade him, even now. It sends a twinge of discomfort to his gastric sack. He breathes through it. Now? Now we pivot from the sublime to the ridiculous. Talk to Egbert! <laughs> <laughs> Harry Anderson has rushed home faster than ever before in his high school career. Wait, did you want to say something, Jamie? No, I got one. All right. It doesn't occur to him along the way he he could have provided a less abstainious, uh, uh, ostentatious, ostentatious, yeah. ostentatious getaway car from his friend. Ostentatious. His 
<laughs> it's no matter. It's no matter. They'll take it. He won't allow himself to in- internalize any other opinion option. He's too busy with these mental gymnastics to notice his father's car parked outside. John, Roxy, and Harry Anderson proceeded to have the tail end of a conversation they had in another medium. The three fr- fugitives arrive. Frisky's direction park in the, in the back, unsure if it's safe to go inside. They hide in the, lands- in the landscaping and then text their contacts. Frisky Rissy is no stranger to sneaking in and out of Harry Anderson's window. But stakes are quite a bit higher now. Are we good to go? Your mom's car's in the driveway. Oh my god, are you not gonna believe this? But I got home and my I got home and my dad was there. What? Because of all this? How the fuck did you find out so fast? No, he was apparently just schmoozing with my mom if you can't fucking believe it. Like you do with your ex, but and you, your ex you haven't talked to in years, I guess. His t- his time is, is comically bad. It's maybe the funniest shit he's ever done. <laughs> anyway, he wrote me in, in to go and out for a drive, so sit tight. Are you fucking kidding me right now, Harry Anderson? No, I know, but no worries. I asked my mom to pick me up so some snacks so she'll leave to go to the store in a sec. Just sneaking after she leaves and hiding in my room, and I'll be back in a bit. <laughs> oh. Okay, she's gone. I'll take I'll take out the side window with with this rock. Climb in and then you let let let's go time. It's go time. Not the enthusiasm, but hold on the goddamn minute. No need to break my boyfriend's window. I have a key, duh. I have a key to Harry Anderson's. It's now really time to get jealous, Tav. I'm not jealous. It's only that I'd have to give in. I'd have given you one to, to mine, if you wanted. There's a reason we don't make us at your house, Tavros, and it's because of vibes that have to be fucking ranted in there, thanks to your mum. Anyway, that's like a thousand miles past the point here. Yeah, who cares? Let's move! I just was taking notes, sorry. Oh. A bedroom stands empty. There is no boy standing in his bedroom. Or, indeed, anyone else. However, if the boy w- whose bedroom it was here, well, one might remark that his name was Harry Anderson. And fuck, one might say, does he like musical theater? He has been he has been fair share of school plays, but he has lofty aspirations to star in bigger and better productions. He's especially... He, ap- he especially appreciates modern musical remakes of classic old Earth movies. It's a craze that not everyone is happy about, but in the absent, in the, the in the absent boy, they have found a devoted fan. There is also just enough overlap between his taste and his father's to allow for somewhat still conversation bonding from the time from time to time. The boy who is not yet here has also been known to dabble in accessor- accessorization. accessorization. Yeah, I got it. Thank you. He could be described as a cobbler aspirant, a neophyte mil- milliner, or even a bit of a whiz in it with a needle and thread. His mother got him s- his first sewing machine when he was 10, to keep him from using their- hers all the time. He looks are handcrafted, often imitated, but never duplicated. His costumes appears in various amateur production, but the devising of which takes up most of his free time. His friends are usually less appreciative of his attempts to dress them up like than he would like, though. While it is full of these important details and more, the room still stands empty. But very soon, it will remain unstood in no longer. Getting there is uneventful. There is no barking dogs, no traps, no lurking observer observers. The thrill of success is short, and it's long until they're want, they're waiting up, oh, agonizingly through the slow thickness of time. 
I have nothing to do but wait. Wow, our moment in the spotlight is really making the rounds. May I look? I turned my phone off immediately upon adding in abetting murders, since mo since mother most certainly has tracking capabilities for it. So I haven't seen anything. Eat your heart out, Tab. God. <laughs> eyes. Wow, that's <laughs> eyes. Wow, that's quite a lot of attention. It's getting a bit surreal to see my uh frozen mask of horror of every new sight. It's good shot. It's good shot of you, Thor Fissy. It really is shockingly well composed. And the filter does not doesn't wash me out. Not bad for a human photographer. I checked. I that checked that. Oh, I checked that kid's sorry. profile, and they're really pretty decent. Maybe if we all survive this, I'll look them up and see if they need, need models. It's a spirit. How long is this going to take? I know John is all depressed and how long went it at now, but surely he was, he should have dropped this for his wait his precious boy back home by now. There is there is a. There are cu crucial minutes we're wasting. Oh, it's trying on all my boyfriend's accessories, not passing the time well enough for you. A desperate time call. F desperate times call for desperate measures, Rissy. And it's time. And it. And this is some dire shit. Did she mean the fugitive situation or Harry Anderson's fashion choices? Rissy feels silly wondering this, but despite the situation they're in, she can't help but feel more ac acutely anxious about Friska's present. She likes her life, and she trusts her own choices, but now, looking at everything from Friska's vantage point, it all feels silly and un important. She can't tell if she wants Friska to rip into, ha into Harry Anderson's or if she wants her to stay. To put off the moment where she has a def to defend him or John. Luckily, Harry Anderson opened the door and puts off an any fraught decision of making the moment. He kisses Rishi's temple and she leans into the warmth. Are you a straight for? S are you a, s a sight for sore eyes? So sorry it took so long. Can't rush a heart to heart. You know how it is. You actually had a heart to heart with your dad? How many times did he cry? None, actually. I think he got that over with when he was talking to my mom. But, God, it was a mess. I had to keep talking to keep him from looking at his phone or turning on the radio. I mean, I've told him more about my deep passions and emotions in the last hour than the whole rest of my life. Combined just to keep him from hearing the fucking news. Which, by the way, is a complete clusterfuck. They're... Asking for tips about your location, blasting the fucking photo everywhere, all of it. Great shot, great shot of you though, babe. And to have actually held his own, absolute madman. And you too, um, Frisco. Nice to meet you, by the way. I see you're enjoying my collection of scarves. Yeah. <laughs> Are we all here to? Uh, uh, wait. What? Are we all here and acquainted? Are we all here and acquainted now? Great, what's next? Oh, I should roll for John. Uh, oh, it's me. Yay. <laughs> all right. John Egbert has not had a day like this in a very long time. He can barely keep track of his series of ep epiphanies he's having. He stretches out on his couch to relax and process the gifts of advice and connection of his his friends and family and ex family has just have just given him. He is in the middle of wondering if it's even possible to reach further depths in, of insight where his phone rings. John. Hey, Carcat. Great timing. Someone's just happened. I'm kind of reeling about it. Yeah. No shit. Is Harry Anderson safe? Huh? Yeah. I just dropped him back at Roxy's. Why? Thank fuck. I didn't see him in the picture, but it, but this is, and no offense to meant to your genetics, the exact kind of bullshit I would have expected him to help, to get himself helplessly involved in. Not sure how Vriska, Miriam, Lalan, and Tavros even got into it without his depth touch. Except, of course I do, because it's fucking Vriska. None taken, but what are you even talking about? Vriska? Our Vriska? 
John. Is something going on? I just spent the afternoon with my son. I think he would have told me if something was up with his friends. Oh my Lucius spitting, smiting Christ. Listen to me. Listening. Are you in front of a TV? Well, yeah, actually. John, I'm begging you to turn it on. Any channel will do. Ah. <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> I love this image. <laughs> John takes it in si silently. Slain clown, the teen fugitives, the self-righteous political spin. God, the photo, the photo of his son's friends, actual goddamn Vriska circuit, and the very clearly dead Gamzee dows in a cascade of tepid public school of fire sprinkler water. The flash from the alarm is eliminating them in a holy fluorescence. It's the stupidest, the most dangerous, and the most beautiful thing he has ever seen. The absurd joy of, of it bubbles up in his chest, and his mouth in the most genuine fit of laughter John has ever felt in years. And now that he started it, he can't stop. John, are you seeing it? John can't answer. He can't speak. His body has given itself over to the long-lost feeling of manic euphoria. It had felt like Harry, Harry Anderson was holding something back of, on the drive earlier, but... He had already told John so much, he hadn't wanted to press for more. It's not fucking funny, Egbert. John can't breathe. Something is happening. Something is finally fucking happening. And he's finally awake enough to appreciate it. More hinges on this than just the lives of three these teenagers, which should be enough for you to take seriously, but apparently not. John, this is a linchpin moment for the entire system. This could be how we lose, John. Jane wheezes himself into a relative calm. He has to get Karkat to understand. He clearly, he clears his throat and breathes. Karkat, this could be how we win. I know what we need to do. 